you. That's very nice. I think I'll do my set that way. There's a lot of people there. It's fun. No. No one's interested over there. So <laughs> I'll jump right in. Um, I used to want to be black. More specifically, I wanted to be a black American man. <laughs> because my mother encouraged me. She said, Roger, when you grow up, you can be anything you want. <laughs> I want to be black. <laughs> she had a Michael Jackson record collection, so I saw that transition that he went through, right? <laughs> I said, I want that, <laughs> but in reverse. <laughs> Right? And I loved uh, basketball and, and hip hop growing up. So of course, a lot of my, my uh, idols were black, you know? Michael Jordan, of course. Um, Allen Iverson. Uh, Eminem. <laughs> no. <laughs> and my thinking was, if I, just, if I just dress and act like these guys, it'll be just like them. You know, it's like that, that saying. I don't know if you know that Simon. Saying by Descartes, I think, Therefore I am. Tupac. <laughs> I mean, it's translated from French, but you kind of get the idea. <laughs> and I watched American movies, and I watched American cartoons, and I read the magazines, so I had a very clear picture in my head of what an American black man was like, right? He's a basketball player, he's a rapper. Right? And when he raps, he looks into a camera really intensely, walks around with bouncing his step, Looks around in his fence, tell him, yo, there's a camera right there, you should look at it. <laughs> I might even tilt the head back. I show everybody, everybody what I'm wearing when I squat down to the ground. <laughs> I had no clue what it means to be a black person. And I still don't. How could I? I'm a white guy. I'm from the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what it means to be a black American man in 2018. Have I let that stop me? No, absolutely not. No. Because I have this dream. Matt <laughs> <laughs> is up once a Michael Jackson and a Martin Luther King reference, so I feel like I'm walking this tightrope pretty well. <laughs> Uh, when I was a little boy, I loved playing with dolls and I loved playing with toy animals. So ultimately, that transition to loving hip hop uh, was really smooth. Um, and one year, my mom got me a, uh, a toy horse for my birthday. It was, a, it was a white horse and a pink saddle on its back, right? And pink frills around its legs. And all four of this horse's legs moved separately, right? I hope each and every one of you appreciates how fucking incredible this horse was. <laughs> so one day it was bring your toy to school day. So the night before I'm pacing around in my room and I'm thinking, what am I going to take? What am I going to take? Roger, you're an only child. This is your chance. Right? This is a, a, an opportunity to make an impression. And then it hits me. Roger, it's simple, it's so simple. Why not bring this baller ass horse with you to school? Or as you might say, this legend ass horse. <laughs> horse is a legend. <laughs> That's right. So the next day rolls around and I'm walking to school and a horse under my arm. The confidence of Kanye West before all the, uh, well, you guys know the story. <laughs> and as soon as I get to my school, I push open the door and I step inside. And this is older kid from across the hall who clocks me and yells out, Ha! Everybody look! Roger's so gay! <laughs> and my confidence was gone. And I stood there, everyone looking at me just like right now. I was confused. A single tear ran down my face. <laughs> Pummy under my arm, horse under my arm. But what I didn't realize at that time, guys, is very important, a big lesson that I, I, I learned years later, it took me forever to learn, 
is that I'm bringing your toy to school on this very day. I got my first hater. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what they say. <laughs> Haters go, hey! Thank you guys so much. My name is Robert Rock. Thank you. Oh, this you crazy mother.